Okay, number 13 says graph the function. Y equals negative 2x plus 3. Now, we haven't done much of this, but I, I'm asking you to put what you understand and what you know about slope together with what we're going to go over this week in class about um, what the y-intercept. First off, I just wanted to remind you that y equals mx plus b is the equation of a line where m is equal to the slope. All right, so this m right here is equal to the slope, m equals slope. So the number before the x is the slope, and we did that already in class. The b, which we haven't said much of, the b is the y-intercept. And I think I mentioned it a couple of times in class, that the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. All right, let's just uh, not worry about that yet. So, so right now, we would say, if we were to, if I were to ask you, what's the slope of this line? You would say that m equals negative 2. And the reason why m equals negative 2 is because there's a negative 2 that's right in front of the x. So that's a negative slope. And you know that a negative slope goes down from left to right. It goes down from left to right. So just take a look at C. C is going up from left to right. So that's a positive slope. So C can't be your answer for this question. That can't be the graph of this line. Um, also, there's another one that goes up from left to right, and it is B. B is also a positive slope going up from left to right. So you can't pick B. So there's only A and D left because they are both negative lines. They have both have negative slopes. So let me just put this down. That, that 13 is negative slope. And also, I'm sorry, that uh, A is negative. And D, choice D, has a line that has a negative slope as well. So that's what you're working with. It's either A or D. So now you have to go to the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 3. So if the y-intercept is positive 3, which one of these negative slopes right here crosses the y? Right here, it crosses the y. Um, obviously, D is your answer because it crosses the y at 3 and has a negative slope. So just to, to use that point right there, and this point right here, I just wanted to show you about the slope of this line, goes down and over two and over one, down two and over one. So the rise is negative two, negative two, and the run is one. Negative two over one is your slope, your rise over run, negative two over one. Then if you take this point and this point, and you keep on going down negative 2 over 1, this point and this point, it's again down negative 2 over 1. All right, so you're going to, every single time you figure out the slope of this line, the rise is negative 2, the run is 1. The rise is negative 2, the run is 1. So that's why this has a slope of negative 2. This one does too, but the problem is is that this crosses at negative 3. It does not cross at positive 3. So whereas the slope is negative 2 for A and D, the main difference is that the y-intercept is positive 3 for D and it's negative 3 for A. So D is your answer for number 13.